So I'm back to work at decorating the uh, landscape on the train, train set or model railway as it shall become. Okay, I've done a little bit around the tunnel mouths um, previously. I've just added a little bit more, certainly on the one. Um, I've got my lichen. I've got my massive amount of ground foam, homemade. What I do is I dip the lichen into some PVA, scrunch it all, squeeze it all, and then I lay it out. Okay, just randomly, relatively sparingly in some places, but in thicker places elsewhere. Then, while it's still wet and still covered in the PVA, I spring, sprinkle on a load of ground foam. Because the idea is to try and make it look a bit more leafy. Unlike the old days in the 70s and 80s when I was a kid, where you might luckily have about... Hmm, well about that much lichen for your entire play box you know for everything toy soldiers train sets and so on i've actually gone out and bought a load anyway now instead of just looking like the bare old lichen covering it and sticking it, it tends to look a lot better and once i shake off the excess and the loose stuff i look even better so i'm just doing a little bit by a little bit at the moment so i'm just going to start covering these it's dead easy you literally just take a pinch and just scatter it because obviously the lichen has got got thick stalks you know scale wise these are these are tree trunks <laughs> so just get it all sort of on here and there add a bit more just get it I'm covering it basically as if I was covering grass. And I'll give it a little pat down to make it bed in and sit in once I've, I've got plenty on. That'll help stick to the lichen and stick to the landscape. So you can see that's already looking a lot better it's a case of camouflaging the scenery on the board okay so at this stage it's covered it's been squished down a little bit so the glue will hold still looks a little bit patchy as you can see so i haven't got the same color ground foam everywhere but that's fine because ultimately there will be a sprinkling everywhere okay to blend all the colors in fairly well now here's some that I did previously around the, the tunnel mouth. As you can see, it looks a lot more natural because there's currently loads and loads of foam here. Now, what I want to do here along the edge of this siding is put a lot more sort of low level shrubbery. Shrubbery, great word, Monty Python word. Now, when I made my ground foam, I ended up before I sieved it with loads of stuff that's just too big to be convincing. So what I'm gonna do is PVA this and lay this along and then put my smaller ground foam on it. So it's using it up somewhat more usefully and realistically than otherwise, because otherwise, to be fair, I'd probably just bin it because it doesn't look any good as is. So I've popped that on and pressed it down lightly and it's made a nice little bumpy bit but obviously it doesn't show until you start blowing it off. That's looking good. Now I've put some more lichen here and that's all ready to pop the ground foam on and unbelievably I've run out of lichen. I've got loads of it, used loads of it um i thought i had way more so i'm gonna have to get a load to do that that top bit unless i decide to put something else up there uh, i might put some more track not live just um just really for for show to display the rest of the the locomotives that i've got and um break up that that large empty part because it is it's it's quite quite empty flat featureless really um, 
I don't want to build and sculpt hills because obviously I've got to stand this upright when my daughter's home. But yeah, so I'm just going to put the ground foam on there and finish this off.